Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, non farm Friday. It's the 4th of September. Should be the 4th, I think. Yeah, September 4th. A uh, big, big day yesterday. We finally got the risk off turn. Let's look at equities to start. 150 handles from the highs. You don't often see that. Saw that one over here on uh, June 11th. Um, bang. Opened 35.60. And then just straight down. Um, no real catalyst. Just everyone uh, frustrated, I think. With the last two days, the move from basically 34.90 to 35.90 pissed a lot of people off. So people were just kind of throwing in the towel mentality. And then once we got through 35.30, everyone jumped in, um, extended all the way down to 34.27, 20, 20, um, 24 and a half was the low. Today we've been down to 26. Um, the pros now are going to be sellers. Uh, we have our signal here. So you just want to be on the sell side today. Uh, between 65 and 95. Um, you want to sell. Really 35.30 is the line in the sand. Um, that's where the real acceleration in volume started to happen. So, just want to sell rallies in S and P's today. You can go into non-farms, short uh, equities. Euro bounced. End of the day, bounced a little more. Was it assets leaving the U.S.? Don't know. Um, could be. If you're a foreigner and you see the NASDAQ down 5%, you might want to flee. Weirdly, uh, bonds also went lower towards the end of the day. ZB dropped basically a point. Now it's trading it. It was trading up at 178.15. Now it's at 177.12. Um, so stocks and bonds lower. Very similar to stocks and bonds higher, which has been the last three days. Uh, yesterday, the whole shebang changed. I wouldn't go to say that there were people were fleeing U.S. assets yet, but it's something we got to keep keep an eye on. Nothing to do in Euro mid mid range here. Literally nothing to do. Cable, slightly different story. Um, Looks pretty weak. Euro sterling, you know, sort of shot a fair bit higher yesterday. Sterling yen stops went through through 141 also. Um, cable looks pretty weak. We're not really super involved in cable, but uh, keep an eye on this. If we get a good setup for a turn, um, left hand side is the preferable side but again just watching we're not fading this there's nowhere to put your stop there's no good setup so just chill uh, dollar swiss longs scratched at 91 cents again just chill on this now we're back in the range this could go either way obviously the downside point is 90 cents uh, the top side is I don't even know what. But if we do a massive risk off, um, dollar Swiss is probably going to be heavy. Euro Swiss also might be heavy. Regrettable that we didn't stay short Euro Swiss when that moved to 108.76. Um, this is now a sell on rally. Although that said, uh, as I mentioned, 
to a colleague last night. There's no point in trading Euro Swiss. Just leave it. But if you need to trade Euro Swiss, we're definitely on the sell on rally mode now. ECB next week. They're going to be scared shitless if uh, equity markets have also turned to stay on the on the on the back foot. Aussie took a bit of a pounding since the GDP. This can go a lot lower. This is that same line as the equity market, right? If you look at the ES chart. A lot of guys drew this. Exactly the same chart. Death knock today, 77. Aussie's just tickling through this uh, this line. You don't want to go overboard here uh, and start banging on the drum, but you want to sell high ones in Aussie. You want to buy Euro Aussie. Held like the Dickens. Charlie Dickens. We used to have a goat named Dickens. That fucker held down there. Look at that. You want to be long your Aussie. I like that trade. Um, it's a good risk off trade. It's a good trade if Euro starts shooting the moon through 120. It's a good trade if Aussie shits the bed. Uh, rather than being long Euro dollar I'd be long Euro Aussie need to look into this today a little bit and see where see if we can get a good lift off point Aussie yen we've been short all week not a whole lot to say there I mean shit's lower but it's really dicking around no acceleration no fear it's kind of worked out but Sort of a little pussy, pussy down move. Swiss yen, nothing to do there. Cad yen, you want to sell this fucker. Uh, dollar cad's going to be bid. Dollar yen could go anywhere, but um, should put some down downside pressure on, on cad yen. Kiwi yen also after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine up days. Big turn, bearish engulf. Looks like the equity um, looks like the equity market, right? With less fall. QEN looks looks like hell. Big turn. Sell rallies. This one might be our favorite. Um of all the uh, of all the sort of risk off trades Kiwi dollar same thing we talked about it trying to fade this up at this weekly double top sixty seven ninety why was it up there we don't know but She's turned, um, you see, same pattern, same stories here, dollar cat should be bid down towards the figure, cat employment today, so that's going to be, going to be hectic, don't want to go into that number with a big ass position, um, in the tech, in the tactical book, if you want to take a wild, a wild risk, I don't mind it actually right now. If you wanted to buy dollar CAD and leave a, a stop below 130, looking for 140, I don't mind that. Because um, if we do go risk off and the tide does go out, um, the Canadian situation I think is a lot worse than uh, is talked about. Problems with Chinese investment or lack thereof fragile housing market that's incredibly leveraged um, 
I'm no expert, but. And here's EuroCAD. Didn't quite bullish in golf. Um, this one's a real slut raker to trade. I would I'd stay away from EuroCAD. If you're going to trade Euro commodity crosses, Euro Aussies, your horse. Finally, Erdogan's uh, little stepchild. Dollar Turkey, new highs. Shit's going to 10. They're so fucked. Oh yeah, let's look at dollars R and someone has to tell me why did dollars R not move yesterday? Literally no move at all. Equities down five percent, dollars R did nothing. Very, very peculiar. I guess the party starts above uh above seventeen the figure. Be real surprised if this gets this goes left hand side today after all this risk off, but uh, sort of surprised. Tesla, just for the sake of it, bang. And then Apple. Man, it's a hundred billion dollars in market cap. It's actually more than a hundred billion in market cap. It's like I don't know. 200 billion in market cap, 10%. Think of all the billion dollar companies out there. That's 200 billion dollars wiped. I mean, obviously it's insane at 2 trillion. Um, so, anyway, you got to start talking about where you're going to buy Apple. Now you're in the middle of nowhere now, but you want to buy it around 100. 100 is going to be 1.2 trillion market cap. If you're short, stay short Apple. If you're short, stay short Tesla. These babies are fragile. Oh yeah, Bitcoin. Bang. Smoke show. That's... That smacks of like retail sort of Robin Hood types who are long Tesla, Apple, Bitcoin, all puking on a big puke day. We're going to pick some of this up um, actually today around the 10-2. Between 10-2 and 9-2, we're going to pick up some Bitcoin. Uh, just small social amounts. It's hysterical. Uh, hysterically hard to trade price action does not dance. The price action is like, you know, 1978 uh, Studio 54 guy. Uh, just wildly out of control and very unpredictable. Uh, sort of sweaty in a crappy polyester shirt. That's Bitcoin. And we love it for that reason. Also, Studio 54 was the best. Um, but, uh, anyway, 10,000, we want to buy some of this shit. All right, listen, I said, I've said enough. Uh, I haven't really said too much. We just want to play this risk off now. Um, pick your spots. We're going to trade, uh, this European morning, even though it's a non-farm day, because I think it's going to be pretty hectic, uh, in the European equity markets and there's some stuff to do. Uh, so, full day today, which is unusual on a non-farm day. And with that, I will wish you luck and a good weekend. Talk to you Monday. Ciao.